What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my last play of WWE SmackDown. Shut your mouth. The seminal PS2 game playing it through a PC emulator. If I sound a bit rough today, I had a very long recording session yesterday with Echomog. Uh, so plenty of cool videos coming up on every Saturday uh, for the next, like, six weeks or so. So look forward to that. But today, we head back into Raw in our ongoing uh, Ric Flair feud with Raw and the Raw guys. Uh, even though we beat Taz and we're not booked on this show at all. Um, but... We'll see how it plays out today. I, I, I can't promise a long video. My voice is already kind of rough, so I'll kind of go as long as I feel I can. And then hopefully tomorrow, things will get back to normal on this channel. Mr. McMahon on Raw for, you know, reasons. But no Stephanie, who came back for reasons. I don't, I don't even know anymore. I am completely out of sorts today. Um... And I'm not gonna- I, I promise I won't do the Vince voice, so I fucking can't. I can't today. But he's being very generous. Or something. So here comes Flair coming down to the ring. Looking upset. Not surprised. He hates Vince. Why is Vince on your show, Flair? Woo! Why? Why is he there? What's gonna happen here? Let's hear the apology. Wait, Flair's gonna apologize to- Oh no, who's apologizing to who here? You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm here to kick your damn ass all- I'm, I'm here to kick your damn ass all the way to hell. All the way to hell. By God, that's gotta be Kane. Never want to see your damn face here again. Yeah, I mean, that's just- hang on on SmackDown. It's- it's cooler there. We're the blue brand. This is my turn. A big surprise for everybody. Who's it gonna be? Who's the big- is it the big show? It's Shawn Michaels. I can't believe it. HBK is back. The Commissioner. Am I dreaming? Shawn Michaels is here. This is this like this is his actual return from the you know, like the four years off or whatever. The greatest moment in the history of the WWE says Jerry the King Lawler. I'm sure. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and argue. I'm, I'm, I'm too fucking tired. We, the legends, are... How is Vince not a legend? Seriously. Gonna kick your ass. There's no way in the hell you can beat us, the greatest champions in history. Three very important matches at the pay-per-view. Also, we're gonna have a six-man... Oh, God damn it! I bet I'm gonna be in that, right? Six-man tag match? I hate six-man tag matches. I'm, I'm not very fond of, of video game tag team matches to begin with, so... Making it even worse for me. And there I am in the ring. Looking very evil. I've been recruiting. I tried to get Kane and it didn't work. So how about Trish Stratus? Then we're going to find out who I've recruited for uh, SmackDown. Not a gambler man, Kang. Come on out here, Kane. A great leader, Kane. Come on out, Trish. Wait. Kane, Kane, Trish. Kane, Kane, Trish. Kane, Kane, Trish. Kane, Kane, Trish. No, it's not. I don't, I don't want to infringe on any Queen songs. Um, I don't know. A great leader, Kane. That's got to be Kane. Watch it not be Kane. Watch it not be Kane. There he is. That's got to be Kane. That's got to be my witness. Through, through hellfire and brimstone. Now watch him choke slam me. That'd be hilarious. Shake my damn hand. Shake my damn hand, the big red monster. Shake my damn hand. It's like in his crotch. That's what the hell? Me? Choke slam. Nope. Yep. God, I should have gone with Trish. I should have gone with Trish. Well, you just raise your hands and do your pyro. That's what you do, Kane. Am I in a Kane feud now? Well, I guess I'm fighting uh, the big red monster Kane in this match on Raw, so that's a thing that's happening. I don't know. Let's walk around the concourse first. Oh, big quiche. Big quiche. Oos. And Scotty, too hottie. So, uh, you know, where where is the third member of your entourage 
Where is Grandmaster Sexy? Let's talk to Big Quiche here. I only have two questions. Did you do it for The Rock? And did you do it for the people? Wait, what? I, I'm not trying to start shit. If you don't, get the hell <laughs> Alright, so that was uh, very brief. And very, uh, 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 you know, just a very... A, a, a man of few words, if you will. Anyway, welcome to Sunday. It's Sunday, yeah, I'm out of it. Welcome to Sunday, here on this channel. Uh, welcome to another episode of this nonsense. And we're, I guess we're gonna go fight Kane now. Cause we, we had our one discussion. We had our one, you know, uh, superstar interaction. So let's let's go fight Kane. And hopefully, I mean, we beat Taker. So let's see if we, we can actually beat Kane. That's gotta be Kane, I suppose. Yeah. Uh-huh. Certainly, Kane being a super heavyweight and I am the cruiserweight champion might make things a bit difficult, but I am rated uh, 80 now or 81. I haven't checked, but I'm, I'm definitely, you know, up in that echelon of the upper mid card, so... Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to beat Kane, but yeah, still having that sp weird spotlight bug with the emulator is unfortunate, but what are you going to do? That's the price you pay for making this game look way better than it ever should look, uh, and certainly w way better than, than any PS2 game uh, would ever look. There's a nice power slam there. Um, Not much going on in the news. Oh, sorry, Hebner. In the news department on this uh, Sunday morning cutter uh but there was some stuff that i didn't get to because i was not whoa kane because i was not home uh yesterday to report on things uh and one of those things being that apparently on smackdown this tuesday we shall see the return of the headbangers uh and they'll most likely be fighting uh slater and rhino and obviously most likely losing to Slater and Rhino. Uh, so that's a weird... Like, like I know you're kind of thin on a roster here, but that's kind of a weird pick for uh, Spinebuster. For your, you know, returning legend type deal. Because I feel like we're going to have, you know... It's going to really depend on the crowd to see how that goes over. Because... I feel like a lot of the modern day crowd, like, you know, you're going to recognize Austin and Rock and, you know, like all all your top card guys, but bringing back a tag team like the Headbangers, you're going to kind of have a, like a who reaction from that crowd. Uh, I mean, because certainly they were over at the time. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that to Kane. Um... They were certainly over at the time, as was a lot of guys in the in the Attitude Era. But um, yeah, that's not good. Um, Kane's like, finish it. Nope, DDT. Um, but like, I don't know that 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 that, that gimmick necessarily is gonna uh, uh, translate in 2016. Like, if they come back out wearing Marilyn Manson shirts, can you even buy those anymore? Like, is that even a, a thing that you, you, you can buy anymore? And, like, we'll get a who from the crowd for the headbangers, and then a who from the crowd for Marilyn Manson. So, all I'm saying. Didn't even need the salt shaker to take out Kane. I used the fucking perfect plex. Sorry, Kane. That's what you get for not agreeing to come over and get recruited to the SmackDown side. The superior brand on SmackDown. The domination continues. Let's move on to SmackDown. My rating is now 82, so certainly I am in that upper mid-card spot. Okay, two-match, uh, two-man tornado tag match, so I don't have to worry about having to tag in the Hurricane. What I do have to be worried about is the Hurricane not actually helping my ass at all to fight Kane and Rob Van Dam. Alright, who will be in the backstage area on this episode of SmackDown? Anybody? I'll kind of do a tour here and see if anyone's walking around. There might not be. Uh, I will head into the VIP and get it to reset and see if that helps. Hey, slug. What can I do for you? Glad you came by. Just wanted to talk. Wait, what? I want a title shot. I'm too busy. 
But you just said you wanted to talk. How am I doing? 82. Satisfied with your progress. Keep it up. How about you give me a title shot? Too busy. That's all. What? Wait, let's go back and, and, and pick up that, that third option there. Glad you came by. Came by to see how you're doing. Okay. That did, that, that did something. Wait, no, that didn't do anything. That just loaded. That was weird. What did Vince want to talk about? He didn't even actually get into that. He just said he was too busy. So, that's baffling. But hey, here's Chris Jericho. So certainly, uh, I will talk to the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. Hey, I'm here to discuss it. The hell are you looking at, Junior? Nothing, you has been. <laughs> Somehow, it's 2016. This game was how long ago? And Chris Jericho is still relevant. Which is amazing. Uh, the hell are you looking at? Would you say, Junior? Uh, we're having a match now, Chris? Is that what's gonna happen here? I'm a living legend. Like Larry Zabisco. Um, that was anticlimactic. Anticlimactic! Okay, I guess we're gonna go have this, uh, tag match now, so that's a thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see how the headbangers get received, uh, you know, if they get, like, a pop, people actually remember them, or if nobody cares, because I recall when they, they had brought back, uh, Brian Christopher, a.k.a. Grandmaster Sexy, uh, with that angle with Lawler a couple years back, and, like, you could hear a fucking pin drop, like, nobody cared. It was fucking amazing that nobody cared. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes on, uh, Tuesday. And the other little news bit, oh crap, the other little news bit is just a lot of just internet speculation, uh, as it were, about the potential return to, for at least one more match for one, uh, SmackDown GM, Daniel Bryan, which, you know, after that whole Miz promo would lead to that, that kind of speculation, uh, but I think certainly if the doctors weren't going to clear him, uh, before... Why would they do it now, you know? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, obviously his doctors were happy to clear him, but the WWE doctors were not going to clear him. So I think that, uh, certainly, I would call that some wishful thinking. Uh, but hey, if they somehow managed to clear him and worked an angle with The Miz that led up to Mania, and you kind of had, like, your modern-day Austin Stone Cold situation, or, I'm sorry, uh, Austin McMahon situation, that could be amazing. Like, that, 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 that could certainly be amazing, uh, but I just don't see it happening. I think, as I said previously, that Daniel Bryan, you know, would love to wrestle again. And if he, if he could get out of his contract, he totally would. Um, so, I think I would mentioned on this show, like, a long time ago, that uh, if the reasoning behind him taking this role as... The GM is that so he could get out of his contract and then go wrestle wherever he wants to wrestle on the indies. Uh, that that would, would not surprise me. Um, but, you know, he's stuck in this long-term contract that he can't go and compete elsewhere. So, um, that's kind of, you know, what the deal was. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Uh, but, if he's allowed to bump and then just not actually work matches, then certainly you could have an Austin McMahon situation. Uh, but you know, with the you know, with these these the psychology being the exact opposite, which you know might work, might not, uh, but has the the potential to be amazing. So, looking forward to seeing how that plays out, if that plays out. Um, woo! Right on RVD. Yeah, Hurricane. Keep Kane busy. God damn it. Damn you, RVD. So, considering we are on day, this is like 14 of this show, I will attempt to have a move set change. I power slammed Hurricane. I will attempt to have a move set change tomorrow. Uh, on this show, or at least that's the God. I keep. They're tricking me. I'm punching RVD. He moves out of the way, and there's some partner miscommunication. And then I get my ass kicked. So if I lose here, fucking whatever. Like I'm not that concerned about it. I'll I I will certainly lose a point, but like this is such, this is such a confusing shit show that I'm not that concerned about it. To 
to be honest. It's kind of just annoying more than anything else. All right, gonna attempt to hit the, 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 the Salt Shaker here on RVD. Salt Shaker! Salt Shaker to RVD! Get there, get there, get there! Kane's busy with Hurricane. What? Two count? What kind of bullshit is that, RVD? Spine Buster. Two. What? Fuck this. How am I not beating RVD? Right? How is that not possible? What? Don't you... How? That's rigged. That's fucking rigged. That's fucking rigged. I did not take nearly enough damage in that match to be pinned by RVD in that situation. I'm getting sick of being with you. What? That's worded weirdly. Let's end it at a pay-per-view in a... Hell in a Cell Inferno match? What? Lumberjack match? This game can't do 30 guys around the ring? Come on now. That's a weird... That is a weird feud blow-off at, 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 at that, but whatever. And also, I thought there was, there was also a, a six-man tag match that they might put me in. So, uh, what's, what's going on there? Anyway, that's no mercy... That's tomorrow. My voice is shot. Sorry. Uh, so, tune in for that. We'll, we'll have our match with Kane. That is a Lumberjack match in No Mercy. Tomorrow, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.